just can't tell which way it's coming from. The rain looks like it's moving from there. Now this rain, it'll make every fish in this lake want to bite. That bass is enormous right there. We're looking at him. We're looking at a 22 inch largemouth. That is huge. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Got him. Come here. Oh yeah. You gotta love it. Snap! <laughs> Goodness gracious! Oh my god, I seen him come out and grab it! Fat catfish right there. Oh yeah. Alright. Ooh, nice one! Oh, I hope I can keep him buttoned up. Oh yeah, that is a hoss right there. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. You better pull out the meat stick because it's swamp donkey time. Bass so big you just might bust your pole. If you want some real action, you gotta head to Spinner Bobs for the best spinner baits and buzz baits hands down. Single, double, and triple armed red hot goodness. The big man Bob knows how to hook them up. The name says it all, Spinner Bob. Now come and get you some of this at spinnerbobblures.com. For over 100 years, r and Bait and Tackle has been selling the highest quality fish bait in the Buckeye State. Our minnows, crawlers, and crawls are guaranteed to catch fish or die trying. Open seven days a week, all summer long. We know where the fish are biting. Call us for the latest fishing report. Now let's get back to the action. Hello and welcome to today's episode of Fishing with Jeff. I'm your host, Joe Jordan. Today, we'll be leaving the Buckeye State and heading north to Michigan. I have zeroed in on an awesome bass fishing lake. Now, in today's episode, there'll be a little bit of rain, but I don't let that slow me down. Sometimes when it rains, the fishing will pick up, and today is an example of that. Now, on today's trip, this is just a little behind the scenes information, my wife was with me. And she said, I wonder why Michigan always loses to Ohio State when they play in football. It must be because they have such awesome fishing. And instead of practicing like they should be, they're probably out there enjoying the great fishing. So we're going to enjoy some of their great fishing too. So stay tuned. You are going to love today's episode of Fishing with Joe. You have got to love it. Ooh! And yeah, that's probably the small one right there. Oh, there we go. No, not a large mouth. Come on in. Alright. Okay, there we go. Fish came after that bait twice. It's fun when they do that. It is very fun. All right. Back in the water. Okay, that's another one. You got it? Oh, get it. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I would have definitely. Hold still. I would have definitely called this as a smallmouth spot. The point. This lake has smallmouth in it. Smallmouth are on the wood. Largemouth are on the points. 
Go figure. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Thank you very much. fish back in that corner. Ooh, there we go. Mmm. That's another smallie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful fish. Ooh, look at him fighting. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. They are on fire today. They are on fire. Hold it tight. And it's just got one hook in. Pull that free. There we go. Wow. Gotta love catching smallmouth. Gotta love it. Gotta love the way they just come up and just attack that bait. That is a beautiful fish. Beautiful. Thank you, thank you. All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Ronald Beach III, and I'm with Shopes Tire Service. We go and repair tires. Properly, we don't plug your tires. We do maintenance on vehicles, uh, brakes, oil changes, uh, steering and suspension components. We offer road service for emergencies when you're stuck out on the side of the road. My grandfather started this company in 1967 and we've lasted three generations and we're working on the fourth generation. We're here Monday through Friday, 8 to 5.30. Saturdays is 8 to 2. We're located at 1890 South High Street, Columbus, Ohio. Come and see us, invite us to your next blowout. Weldcraft makes the most reliable, durable boats on the planet. All welded hauls and heavy duty construction are the reasons why. With over 25 years manufacturing experience, you can't go wrong. That's why it's the boat Joe chooses to reel in the big ones. If you want the hottest boat on the planet, you better quit playing. You better get to Weldcraft. Now let's get back to the fishing and fun. All right, in today's show, you'll notice that it was raining. Now, when it's raining and you're filming a fishing show, you've got a unique problem. And that unique problem is an expensive production camera. In today's show, I had to think quickly what to do. Put the camera away or try to cover it up and keep filming and keep fishing. Now the only thing that I had to cover the camera up was a white plastic bag. I knew the fish would be biting because of the rain, so I pulled that plastic bag out and I put it over top of the camera in hopes that I could keep it dry. And it worked. You'll notice in some of the scenes, you'll see little bits of that white plastic bag right on the edge of the screen. And that is the bag that covered up the camera and saved the day. I filmed through the rain and caught lots of fish in today's show. Ooh, there we go. Oh yeah. Well, what's that one? Large mouth. Oh yeah. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Come in here. Come in the boat. Oh yeah. There we go. It's a beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Um went from the top water to the shaky head and I can't put it down because they won't stop hitting it. <laughs> so if they're hitting it, 
I'm gonna keep throwing it. It's a beautiful fish, beautiful fish. All right, he is going back. Thank you, thank you. Mm, there's another one. Oh yeah, look at that. We're stacked up around this beaver dam. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He came off at the right moment. There we go. There we go. Came off at the right moment. Alright. Toss him back in. Alright. Mm, there's another one. Oh yeah. Now that's a better fish right there. Oh yeah it is. Now you know. Come on in the boat. Oh yeah. They are tearing the shaky head worm up. You are you're truly fishing in Michigan today. Um, I came over this beaver dam with a topwater plug. Got one to hit, got another one to hit in another spot. They didn't take the, they didn't necessarily take the bait. So I came back through with a shaky head. They're just tearing it up. That's like three fish in a row. All right, that is a beautiful largemouth bass. Beautiful fish. All right, Mr. Fish. Thank you. You better pull out the meat stick because it's swamp donkey time. Bass so big you just might bust your pole. If you want some real action, you gotta head to Spinner Bobs for the best spinner baits and buzz baits hands down. Single, double, and triple armed red hot goodness. The big man Bob knows how to hook them up. The name says it all, Spinner Bob. Now come and get you some of this at spinnerboblures.com. Need bait and tackle for your next fishing trip? Visit r and Bait and Tackle. Open seven days a week, all summer long. Believe me when I say they're the best in the Buckeye State. Now let's get back to some fish catch in action. Ooh, there he goes. Wow, didn't even have time to really set the hook on him. He just had it going with it. Yeah, he just had it and was going with it. All right, there we go. Got another one on the shaky head. All right, going back in. All right, I'm gonna use this time to go over and show you the baits that I'm using. Using a shaky head on eight pound test line. And this is a ribbed worm. It's a uh, gr peppered green with a chartreuse tail. And uh, of course it's eighth ounce. This is the uh, shaky head with the uh, screw, screw on type head where you screw the worm on. Kind of like that because it keeps the worm on a whole lot better. And the second bait I've got is a uh, topwater walking bait. And uh, this is a discontinued model of bait. So you won't be able to find it when you go out, when you look around at your, uh, in your local stores. But uh, other walking baits will do, uh, do a similar job. I like to use a smaller size, um, not anything that's too big. 
the smaller size just seems to, uh, you catch the big fish on the smaller bait as well, but you also get the numbers. I put it on eight pound line and I'll tie a, a king sling knot. And that just allows for a little space between the knot and the lure so I can get a little extra action out of it. I put it on a, a six foot medium action bait cast rod and just throw it and work it in works wonders all right so that's my tackle for today there he goes bam i seen him coming after that oh yeah you could see a wake coming through the water as the fish was going after the bait wow wow look at that Mm -hmm. It's just a wake coming through the water. It looked like jaws. It looked like jaws. All right, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful fish. This morning, the weatherman forecasted rain and it to be horrible. And it did rain a little bit, but it's been a wonderful, wonderful day. Another fish. Wow. Gotta love it. Going home. Ooh, goodness. Ah. There we go. All right. Ah. That one's a small mouth this time. He was pulling a little bit harder. I said, well, there's a reason why. Smallmouth. I always seem to fight just a little bit harder. All right. Going home. There we go. Got him. Mm. Mm. All right. These fish are tearing up. That's what I really like about this lake. All right. That's three fish on three cast. A large mouth, a small mouth, then another large mouth. You gotta love that variety. That's the spice of life. <laughs> oh yeah. Going home. Thank you, thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Ronald Beach III and I'm with Shope's Tire Service. We go and repair tires properly. We don't plug your tires. We do maintenance on vehicles, uh, brakes, oil changes, uh, steering and suspension components. We offer road service for emergencies when you're stuck out on the side of the road. My grandfather started this company in 1967 and we've lasted three generations and we're working on the fourth generation. We're here Monday through Friday 8 to 5.30. Saturdays is 8 to 2. We're located at 1890 South High Street, Columbus, Ohio. Come and see us. Invite us to your next blowout. Have you ever wanted to go fishing with Joe? Well, here's your chance. You can be on the boat when it all happens. Joe has the best fishing guide service in Central Ohio. You can learn all the naughty little secrets no one else knows from the man himself. Just go to fishingwithjoe.com and book your trip today. Now let's get back to some fishing and fun. Mm, here we go. Mm. All right, large mouth or small mouth? Large mouth. Oh yeah, coming in the boat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Stacking up on them today. Came up and blasted. Oh yeah, gotta love it. 
gotta love it. All right. Going back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Wow, this lake has got everything in it. Large mouth and small mouth. And they're just so hospitable and kind. Anything you seem to throw, they want it. There's another smallie. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. You gotta love it. Gotta love Northern Michigan. Where do you go to catch this many fish? Michigan. All right. Time to go back. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Thank you. Whoa, there we go. Got him. Large mouth. Small mouth. There's that small mouth. Barely hooked, too. All right. All right, there we go. Some smallmouth bass. Okay, let's do. There we go. Beautiful fish, lots of dark spots on them. What is this? Look at the size of that bluegill. Wow. That right there is a mamma jamma bluegill. That is a big one right there. You know that uh, there are big ones in the area when you start catching them on top water plugs. Look at that. Wow, now that's a big one. All right, going back. Thank you. Oh, gosh. There he goes. This giant bass. That bass is enormous right there. We're looking at him. We're looking at a 22 inch largemouth. That is huge. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. This is the reason why you come to Michigan. This is why. Tons of fish and huge ones too. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Alrighty, it's time for this fish to go back. you're free. Go back and make some more bass. Oh yeah. <laughs> gotta love it. What else can I say? You gotta love it. Oh man. All right. We had a great time fishing in Michigan today. When it began to rain just a little bit, I saw an awesome opportunity. I saw an opportunity to catch more fish. Oftentimes, anglers will see the rain coming in and they'll pack up everything and go home. Not me. When the rain came in, it brought in cooler water and the cooler water was just what it took to trigger the fish and to make them bite. And that's something for everyone out there. When it starts to rain, especially in the summer months, look for the fishing to pick up. Put your rain gear on and persevere through. And when you do, you can come up with that big bag of fish too, just like we did today. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Fishing with Joe. If you'd like to see other episodes and other videos, Check me out online on Facebook and YouTube 
and many other places like Twitter and Google+. And until next time, I'm Fishing with Joe, and you have got to love it.